G'day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today I want to talk to you about Be Born Again. Uh, that's such an important teaching uh, that Jesus taught in the scriptures. Um, you know, when I was younger, I used to think about Nicodemus. He came late in the night to Jesus. And so Jesus was talking really not in front of a crowd, but to a very old man. He was one of the teachers of Israel. Uh, I understand that the son Yedrin uh, was 72 people and two of them were Pharisees and all the rest of them were just Sadducees. Uh, and the two people that were Pharisees were uh, Joseph of Arimathea and it was Nicodemus. Okay? And so Jesus was actually talking to one of the most important leaders uh, in Israel when he spoke to Nicodemus. And he said to Nicodemus, be born again. Okay? So that's that's the instruction. So today I want us to just talk a little bit about it and uh, just understand what it means. Now, what's the benefits to be born again? So... You know, I'm sure you are already born again. So the first benefit would be you are a child of God. You're part of the kingdom of God, part of the family of God. You are loved. You are affirmed. Uh, he, he heals you. He restores you. He supplies to you, protects you. He sends his angels. So he's got a plan and a blueprint for your life. He's going to help you. When you're born again, you receive the DNA of God. You are a child of God. And all of the things that God said to uh, Adam, before he sent applies to you now. Okay, so that's the first one. Uh, but but the second one is also, you have now access to the kingdom of God. Jesus says when you're born again, you can see the kingdom and you can also enter the kingdom. So when we say we enter the kingdom, then we only, we're not only talking about becoming part of the family of God, but uh, we actually have access to go into heaven. Now, many people say when you die, then you can go to heaven. Um, that's not very really true because there's so many, many examples in the Bible of believers that went into heaven. Uh, and um, it was actually a pattern in the life of Jesus to regularly go into heaven. It became a pattern in the life of Paul to go into heaven, a pattern in the life of John to go into heaven. And so that's modeled to us. Uh, and Jesus actually said that one of the signs of the kingdom of God coming is that people will go into, into heaven. And so he says, when you're born again, you can enter into the kingdom of heaven. So you can go into heaven. And then, of course, he says, when you're born again, you can see the kingdom. So that means not only can you enter in, but you can actually see what is going on in heaven. And so that's why we have that wonderful verse in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 that lots of people like to quote. It says, come boldly to my throne of grace. Where do you think is the throne of grace? It's in heaven. And so he says, come boldly there. You know, uh, the, the angel said to John in uh, Revelation chapter 4, it says, come up here. So that, that's an invitation to come into the kingdom of heaven. And Isaiah chapter 60, he saw the, the train uh, of the Lord's glory fill that temple uh, at the throne of God. And so Isaiah, I mean, he, he didn't even have Jesus in his life and he was already able to go into heaven. Family, over the past six years, Unity with Heaven has really become a family that loves one another. And I want to solidify that family commitment and give you an opportunity to click on a link to become part of our monthly newsletter. So when you click there, I'm going to every month send you a letter in which I will give you some of the playlists of the latest teachings that is available to you. Now, there's also a second link to become a partner. As a partner, you can now on a monthly basis support Unity with Heaven. And of course, also going to send a letter once a month out to the partner and there will be some extra resources and also prayers for you. So just click on the link at the bottom and make your family commitment to Unity with Heaven a permanent one. Let me read you a few scriptures and then we, we can ask the question, how can I be born again and how can I access uh, what is available to me when I'm born again? So the first scripture is John chapter 3, 3. It says there, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Okay, so that's the first one. Jesus starts with Nicodemus and he says, you know what, Nicodemus, you want to experience heaven? You want to experience the kingdom of God? You want to see angels? You want to see uh, what is going on? Um, you want to see in the realm of the Spirit? You need to be born again. So that's one. Unless one is born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Then he continues, that's verse 5, he says, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, 
He cannot enter the kingdom of God. So now he says, unless you are born of water and spirit, you cannot enter. Remember the first one was you cannot see. Now the, the second one is you cannot enter. Now he says, you must be born of water and spirit. Okay, now what's the difference? See, when you are born as a baby in a natural, then you're born out of water. The human body is, you know, between, let's say, 60% and 90% water, depending on how much water you drink and how old you are and also how much joy you have in your life. They, they, they see if a person is very bitter, they tend to have a very low water content. If a person is full of joy, they tend to have higher water content. When they're younger, they got higher water. When they get older, it's less water. So, so your, I know when we were in school, they said 70 or 75%, something like that. Uh, but that's actually not a constant. It's different from person to person. But uh, the majority doesn't matter who you are, of who you are is water. And so when you are born out of water, even the, uh, the mother's womb, uh, where you are as a little baby uh, before you're born, is filled with water. And so you, when you come out, you're born out of water. So Jesus says, unless one is born out of water and then and the Spirit, capital. So that Spirit is, is the Lord, is, is God, the Father in heaven. 1 John says that we are born out of God. We have the DNA of God. God is our Father. So we're born out of water. That means out of our mother's womb. And then we are also born out of Spirit. That means we come out of God. All right. So yeah, so, so it's two different uh, births. Um, not everybody that's birthed out of water is birthed out of God. To be born out of God, you have to believe that God raised Jesus from the dead and believe and confess Jesus as your mouth and ask him to, to be your Lord and Savior. And then when you do that, at that moment you say Jesus is Lord, when you with a, a miracle happens, we are born out of incorruptible seed uh, and we become a child of God, we are born again. All right? And so he says, when that happens to you, when you are born, then he can enter the kingdom of God. So you are able to enter the kingdom of God the moment you are born. So when I finish the scripture, that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. So now Jesus confirms that you are not just a, a physical body. You also have a soul and you are a spirit. So actually first I am a spirit being. God has given me a body to live in. I have a soul, but I am a spirit. So now the question is how can I be born again? Well, the first thing is you have to believe in Jesus. Right? And what we believe about Jesus is that he is the son of God, that he came to earth, that he died for us on the cross, that he, he, he died and he was buried. He was in a grave for three days. After three days, God raised him from the dead and he is alive today. And when we receive him as our Lord and our Savior, then we can become a child of God. So that's what we believe. And so when you believe in Jesus and you confess with your mouth that Jesus is now your Lord and your Savior, at that moment, then the, the born again process happens in your life and become a child of God, all right? Now, once you become a child of God, of course, you can be filled with the Holy Spirit. You can learn how to worship, how to engage the Lord. And then one of the things that you then need to do is to learn how to step into Jesus because he is the gate into the realm of heaven. And you need to learn how to start to experience the realm of heaven. And for me, it starts with um, embracing Jesus as my first love. Because usually when you see Jesus, he steps into your heart and you embrace him and experience him as your first love. Then all of heaven starts to open up. It's actually as simple as that. And um, then the third thing is then to not focus on what the, the information that comes from your physical eyes or the thoughts that comes from your mind. But to focus now on the information that comes from your spirit man who is singing in heaven. And so then you can develop just like you when you were born you had to develop a physical sight uh, of course your eyes can see and your eyes see send information to your brain but your brain has to learn how to interpret it so it can build a, a framework to for you to understand what you're seeing and so the same has to happen also in your spirit and that just comes with practice every single person can see you just need to practice and uh, it's not difficult uh, but but it takes time to learn how to do it, okay? And so, but that is accessible to you when you are born again. All right, so I hope that helped you. I described quite clearly how to become born again, uh, and then maybe it's a little bit more mysterious 
how to enter into the kingdom of God and how to see in the realm of the spirit. Uh, but I gave you enough just to give you that first step. And, and I've done many videos on Unity with Heaven that talks about seeing in the spirit. So you can check those also out. But um, let me go eat and pray for you. Father, thank you for each one that's listening to this message. And Lord, maybe someone listened to this and I've never been born again. They've never believed in Jesus. And today they've heard this and they realize, you know what? I don't understand everything, but I want to have access of the kingdom of God. I want to be born again. I want to be a child of God. And so Lord, I pray for each one, Lord. And Lord, I pray with them. Lord, today we declare with our mouth that Jesus is our Lord and Savior. And Lord, we believe in our heart that Jesus is the Son of God, that He came to earth, that He died for us. Uh, that he died and he was in the grave for three days and the Lord raised him from the dead after three days uh, and that he is alive today and he is the king of kings the Lord of lords he is our savior and we can receive him and when we do that and we confess him as our Lord and savior then we get saved and so Lord therefore we open up our mouths today and Lord with faith we declare Jesus is Lord and so, Lord, even as we do it, Lord, thank you that the miracle occurs and we are born again. So, Lord, even as we are born again, Lord, thank you that we are a child of God. And, Lord, we want to, right from the beginning, take that first step and enter into the realm of heaven. And so, Jesus, we see how you come to us, how you put your arms around us and you embrace us. And how you take our hand and you just lead us into the realm of heaven. And so, Lord, you lead us in front of your throne room. And, Lord, before your throne, we just want to bow down. Let's worship you today. And so, Lord, we can see the throne room of God, the angels of God all around, and the light of God, the glory of God, the, the, uh, all, all of the magnitude of people that are in the throne room of God. Lord, thank you that we, our spiritual eyes is open to see and experience heaven. Lord, we love you very, very much. In the name of Jesus, amen. Sure, that was actually nice. I, I was sitting here and I just felt the, the glory of God the presence of God is rest upon me. God loves you very, very much. And uh, He desires to be part of your life. If you're not born again, listen to this again and pray this prayer with me. Give your life to Jesus. That's a good thing. Uh, that means you're going to be healthy, strong. You're going to be able to fulfill the blueprint that God has for your life. And you're going to live a fulfilled life full of joy, happiness, peace, and the righteousness of God. I want to encourage you, uh, if this is the first time you listen to one of my videos, please hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, if you would like to receive the newsletter or become a partner, you can also click on the link in the description. I uh, love and appreciate you guys. Have a fabulous day. God bless.